I've been building websites for over 10 years, and after using pretty much every tool out there, I ended up building my own. And this was not because I wanted to build a website builder, it was because I was tired of two things, the setup and renting my own site. I wanted to own the code and not pay monthly just to exist online. Once I really thought about this, I realized something. Building the website itself isn't hard. Everything around it is. Every new site follows the same routine. Install something, configure something, pay for something, and fix something that broke after an update. And before you even write content, before you think about traffic or rankings, you're already over it. When I built Gitpage, I wasn't trying to be clever. I was trying to remove friction. No plugins, no hosting bills, no CMS to babysit, and own the code. One of the first things I noticed was beginners using Gitpage got results fast. They'd build one website and then they'd realize they could repeat the same process again and again. The same steps, the same structure, different site. No learning curve, no technical headaches, just publish and move on. Then SEO professionals started using it. And SEO professionals are very focused. They don't care about fancy builders, they care about clean HTML, fast load times, the schema already included, and Google being able to see everything instantly. One professional user told me he's been building websites for 18 years, and Gitpage was the first tool that made him stop and rethink how he starts projects. Blank screen to live website in minutes. If you would like to check out what other users are saying about Gitpage, head over to you need. I'll leave a link in the description. Now, getting started with Gitpage is pretty easy, and there is a complete step-by-step guide to getting set up and getting everything configured correctly. Now you're all set to build your first site. This is only going to take a couple of minutes. The first step is choose what type of site you want to build. I'm going to go with a default site, but you can see here you can do a product store, a VSL, a webinar or an event, or you can start blank. We'll go with default. Then you choose your language. What is the main heading for your landing page? I'm going to go with yoga for beginners. Color scheme, we'll start with standard. Key features, now you can type these in or you can use the magic button. If I click this, in a couple of seconds, we get the main key features based on a hero statement and the main title for our site. Same again for benefits. We can just click the magic and bring this in. And there we go. Would you like to include an FAQ? Yes. Email for the landing page. Call to action link. Now, this is where you can choose which additional pages you would like initially with the build. So by default, you're always going to have a home page or an index page. You can also add a blog, a privacy policy, and a terms of service. Now, if you need additional pages, that's okay. They can be added later on in the edit mode. I'll turn these off for now. Go next. Now we hit the design system, and this will guide your unique build. So for this one, I'll go with this bold creative friendly. The layout, I'll go with compact. Your component style, I'll stay with rounded and soft. Go with minimal for interactions. And then we'll go with outline for the button style. Go for a split contact form. And for icons, there's a few options here. I'll go with this one and we'll submit it. And in about three minutes or less, we'll have our complete website. Okay, so our website is now generated. We can take a look. It's this one here. This is the first build. It's looking pretty good. It's fully featured, fully functional with a working contact form. It has all the components that we requested. We can go down here. We've got the FAQ. We've got a call to action. Here's the contact form and the footer. So this is our initial build. We can go into the edit modal and we can change anything we like. But first, let's have a look at some of the technical stuff. So I've just gone on to GT metrics and I've put the URL in. And as you can see, straight out of the box, we've got performance 98%. So this is very good. And remember, this hosting is completely free. The other thing we want to take note of here is this is pure HTML. So on the site that generates, if I press control U, instantly we can see the source code. This is what Google sees. And because it's HTML and it loads instantly, your site can be indexed and crawled. Now, what about making changes? Well, as one of the reviews states here, once it's generated, making updates or tweaks is effortless. 
So when you're on your My Sites listing page in the tile view, you can just click on the site and it opens up the edit modal. So there's a few different ways you can change things. First, you can just click on the edit text. If I wanted to change the text here, I could just remove it, update it, type over it, do whatever I like. So instead of discover strength, I could make that find. When I click back over here, you can see that a change has been detected and that's ready to republish. Super easy. The other way you can do it, if you know your way around a bit of HTML, you can click on the code and actually go into the code itself and make the change directly. The third method is you just prompt the AI to make the change. For example, down in the AI prompt here, I've just got change the hero text from yoga for beginners to yoga for very beginners. And this should take about 10 seconds. So that's done. You can see it now says yoga for very beginners. Now, a couple of other really cool things you want to take note of. One is adding the schema markup. If this button is highlighted, it means it doesn't have the schema markup added yet. And it's one click to add it. So one click usually about 10 seconds and we have that done right that's all finished next the other thing you might want to do is add a sitemap so if you are going to google search console and force an indexing on this it's good to add a sitemap so google knows how to navigate the pages to do that just click on build sitemap and hit generate that's it all done